We are talking about Ubisoft today, a company that quite honestly has made a bunch of games that I enjoy and that I've purchased over the years and played through and have thoroughly enjoyed. But currently, this company is seemingly being run by the spawn of Satan if they were less business savvy. And I'm going to explain what I mean by that in a minute. So first I'm going to talk about the games that I've enjoyed. Like I went through, I have quite a few in my collection. This isn't even all of them, but I figured out while I was doing research for this video that they they made the two good South Park games, the Stick of Truth and the Fractured But Whole. Those were both games that I thoroughly enjoyed and were hilarious. I haven't played the new one, but apparently it's not very good. But that's neither here nor there. They also made Steep, which is another game that I really liked. But most notably, they're known for Assassin's Creed, which we're going to talk about right now. I've played a bunch of the Assassin's Creed. I haven't played the most recent trilogy, but I've played... I think, yeah, I think the last one I played was Origins, and I haven't played any newer ones since then. But I I actually did enjoy Origins. It, it was alright. This isn't a review, though. Uh, well, I mean, it's kind of a review of the new release, which is Assassin's Creed Shadows, and this is what's kind of gotten them into some hot water here, is this release tier that they've, they've created here, and let's take a look at it. You can now pre-order... The Assassin's Creed Shadows for the low, low price of $89.99 Canadian. Yeah, these are Canadian prices. If you thought the American prices were bad, yeah, yeah, you see these and you kind of shit your pants. But th wait a second, there's that Ubisoft Plus down at the bottom there. And we're going to talk more about that in a second. But first, I want to explore these additions. So let's actually take a look at them. Oh yeah, they also have Star Wars Outlaws, which is pretty much the same price. Alright, here are the editions. So we got ourselves the standard edition, which gets you the base game. Experience an epic historical action-adventure story set in feudal Japan. Become a lethal shinobi assassin and a powerful legendary samurai as you explore a beautiful open world in a time of chaos. Switch seamlessly between the two, unlikely allies as you discover their common destiny and usher in a new era for Japan. That's the base game, and that's included in all the editions, thankfully. <laughs> you also get the pre-order bonus if you pre-order. You get an extra quest, thrown to the dog. I bet you, you have to tail somebody, and then you have to chase them. I don't know if that prediction will be right, but let's just, let's find out. Uh, when it comes out. Okay, next you have this gold edition, which is $145 Canadian, and that gets you the season pass, which we all know means you get fuck all, and then you also get this three days early access, which would be a good thing most of the time, but uh, a lot of these AAA games release and they're not really in a playable condition. So, like, the three days early access isn't really helpful. If the game's unplayable at launch, it's even less than unplayable during the early access. And we found that out during, like, games like Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. People couldn't even get on for their early access, which it defeats the purpose of paying for it. Anyway, yeah, so that's what you get with the Gold Edition. And with this Ultimate Edition, which is a... a Goddamn $170 Canadian. That is way too much for a game. But you get this ultimate pack, which is it's a, a gear and weapons pack. It's a Kiryu hideout pack. Five skill points. Ooh, so you can upgrade your character to like level five. Oh, an extra filter in photo mode. That's the ultimate pack. None of that sounds like it's worth anything. It all sounds like that should be unlockable in the game itself. None of that sounds like it should be an additional cost. If I'm wrong, comment below. If you, if you think it's worth paying for, that's great. I wouldn't pay for this, but... We have one more tier to look at, and that is Ubisoft Plus, which is a monthly subscription service where you get access to all of Ubisoft's titles for a low monthly price of $20 a month. By the way, if you're wondering, uh, Ubisoft is owned by Xbox, which 
produces their own streaming gaming streaming service called Game Pass. And Game Pass, which they've also upped the price on recently, is currently nineteen dollars a month. And Ubisoft Plus is part of Game Pass. So yeah, they're starting their own streaming service or yeah, live service for their games, which I think is a terribly greedy move on their part. I mean, if if you would only if if you really love Ubisoft games and you're only going to play Ubisoft games, then yeah, yeah, that's the service for you. Definitely. And there's before I judge any further, I got to look at the gameplay for this Assassin's Creed Shadows. They just released a trailer. So let's take a look at all the gameplay in that. And it was an entirely cinematic trailer. Uh, so there's no gameplay in it. Now, I could do a whole nother video on Xbox and, like, Game Pass and how Xbox might be folding out of the console wars entirely, but that's a whole different video. Uh, it kind of makes me think Ubisoft has kind of bet on Xbox failing or on, on Xbox exiting or just becoming, well, like, Microsoft is already a software company. They would just stop making consoles and continue making games that would come out on Switch or PlayStation 5 or PC, and there wouldn't be an Xbox. That seems to be the way it's going. I don't know. I'd love to hear what you guys think. I think this is terrible. Um, I really am not that interested in this game so far from what I've seen. Uh, I, I look forward to maybe getting it in a couple of months on sale at this point based on what they've done if it's got good reviews <laughs> actually you know what if it if it did have good reviews that might push me to get the base game the gold and both ultimate editions i don't see the value in but i would love to know what you guys think comment your thoughts below please like and subscribe it really does help out a lot i live stream games on the weekend join me for those in the evenings usually i will see you guys in the next one